Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's tackle source transformations as a method to solve circuits. What is source transformation? Well, in simple terms, it's converting something that looks like this, where we have a voltage source and an impedance that's in series with the voltage source and convert it to a current source with the impedance in parallel to the current source. How do we make that transformation? Well, it's fairly simple. Notice that if we want to go from current to voltage, because notice the arrow goes both directions, so we can go from a current source with impedance in parallel to the voltage source with impedance in series, simply by saying that the voltage is equal to the product of the current times impedance in the circuit. So simply multiply these two and you get the voltage. And notice that the impedance is exactly the same, except here it's in series and there it's in parallel. Now, if you want to go the other direction, you want to go from a circuit that looks like this to a circuit that looks like this. To get the current, you simply take the voltage here and divide it by the impedance to get the current source. And then again, the impedance here, which is now in parallel to the current source, is the same as the impedance over here. Exactly the same. You may wonder, why in the world would we want to do something like that? Well, there are some advantages to doing so. Here's a simple example. Let's say that we have a circuit that looks like this. Notice there's additional components to the circuit, but we're only going to look at this portion of the circuit, and we want to convert it to the circuit that looks like this. Again, you may say, why do we want to do that? Well, if we do that, notice we can now take these two impedances in parallel and turn them into a single impedance, which is what we have over here, and then we can take this and convert it back to this which means we take a circuit that looks more complicated like this and turn it into something that looks exactly like this. Let me show you how that's done. Well, first of all, we're going to take the circuit over here and convert it to here, which means we have to go from a voltage source to a current source. Again, the way we do that, notice the current source equals the voltage source of this circuit divided by the impedance. So in this case, it'll be 20 with a phase angle of minus 90 divided by 5 because that's what the resistance is here and so we end up with this current source and the same impedance now in parallel. Now we go ahead and take these two branches right here and turn them into a single impedance. Of course we're going to use the product over the sum rule so we turn the impedance of those two branches in parallel and turn it into the single impedance right here. We simply go to the process where we convert from here to this, notice then we have to convert to the magnitude and phase angle format. We take the division, we subtract this angle from this angle, then we reconvert to the real imaginary part of the impedance. So now you can see that this circuit right here turns into this circuit where we still have the same current source, but now we have a single impedance, which is 2.5 plus J1.25. Now we convert this back to this circuit again to get the voltage, notice, we simply take the current times the impedance. So we take this current times this impedance. Of course, we want to have it in this format. So we can say then that we get the current times the impedance. We get this voltage, and that will now become the new voltage source of this part of the circuit. And of course, with the impedance in series. So now we've taken something that looks fairly complicated into something that's much easier to deal with. And that's why we use source transformation because that way we can take more complicated circuits and sometimes through a series of going back and forth turn into something that looks a little bit more simple and that is what we mean by source transformation and that is why we do it. Is that why you do it? That's why we do it. <laughs>